Emily's prayers helped West Bromwich end their home hoodoo with a four-goal victory. Hands here with the sport and secret to Albion's great win on Saturday. Sing before you're winning is the <laughs> secret. Yes, none of our teams delivered a better result than West Bromwich Albion, and no one was more delighted than Emily Badger. Ten minutes before kickoff, Emily's singing brought the crowd to its feet, and the players responded by scoring four against Sunderland in winter reports. 9.30 this morning and I've joined the Year 7 art class at St Michael's High in Rowley Regis. Teacher Miss Kadir has put me next to Emily Badger, who soon revealed what an exciting weekend she'd had. <laughs> Emily's job was to get the crowd in fine voice before kick-off, and singing the Baggies' favourite hymn in front of 25,000 fans proved no problem for this talented 12-year-old from Tividale. So tell us how you were feeling just before you went out there. Tingly in my belly, but I really, really wanted to do it, so I was looking forward. What did the fans do? They were all quiet, and then when it came to the end, they were singing and waving their scarves. It made me feel proud. I liked it. I really, really enjoyed it. The fans weren't the only ones impressed by Emily's singing. Listening in the tunnel, the Albion players felt the hairs rising on the back of their necks and, suitably inspired, went on to score four past Sunderland. A bit like a Picasso, isn't it? <laughs> Back at St Michael's, today's art class was almost over, but not before Miss Kadir had dished out four gold merits for arguably the finest work of original art she's ever seen. And Emily Badger would love the chance to repeat her match winning performance against Chelsea on Saturday. Ian Winter, BBC Middles Today, Rowley Regis. Yes, well, Emily Badger's appearing at the King and I next month. Don't be surprised if everyone goes to support her. It's in Wolverhampton. <laughs> oh. She might need it. Yeah. Good luck, Emily. Brilliant. What a yeah, girl. Thanks very much, Dan.